Hello, it's Charlie here, and in this video we're going to be looking at how to tune your guitar. This is very important before you start playing any songs from your Tom Gates music book. Ensuring that your instrument is in tune before you start playing along with the songs will mean that the notes that you play are the same as the notes that are being played on the backing track. This will mean it will sound correct, or in other words, in tune. So let's get started by taking a look at the strings on our guitar. Our guitar has six strings, and these are all given a number. So starting with the string closest to you, this is the sixth string, and then working downwards we have the fifth string, the fourth string, the third string, the second string, and the first string. It's really important we remember the strings in this order. Each of our strings is also tuned to a specific note. So starting from the sixth string we have the note E, and then working down we have A, D, G, B, and E again on the first string. It's important that we also remember these notes, and it's a really helpful rhyme to help you, and that's even a dog gets breakfast early. As you follow the strings up the neck of the guitar towards the head, you'll notice that each string terminates at its own tuning peg. It's here where we can adjust the tension of that string and therefore adjust the pitch. Turning the tuning peg one way will loosen the tension on the string and therefore make the note flatter or lower in pitch whilst turning it the other way will increase the tension on the string and therefore make the note sharper or higher in pitch. So it's these tuning pegs that are used to tune each string. A basic approach to tuning your guitar is to use reference notes. So let's say I was tuning the sixth string to the note E and I happened to have a piano next to me which I knew was in tune. I could play the note E on the piano and use my ear to adjust the tension of my E string until it matches the pitch. Whilst this sounds simple enough, in practice it's actually quite difficult. However, it's very good for your ear to try this method, and the more you do it, the better you become. So, here are the reference notes for each of the six strings to get you started. A more advanced approach would be to use an electronic tuner. And these come in the shape of clip-on tuners, standalone tuners, and even apps for your smartphone or tablet. An electronic tuner will typically have a needle or LED lights to tell us when a note is in tune, flat, which is lower in pitch, or sharp, which is higher in pitch. Let's take the note A on the fifth string. You can see the tuner tells me this note is in tune. I'm going to loosen the string tension by turning the tuning peg. Now you can see the string is flat. Let's bring it back to the in-tune pitch. I'm now going to turn the tuning peg to tension the string. Now you can see the note's gone sharp. Again, let's bring it back to in-tune pitch. So you can see an electronic tuner is a very helpful and accurate way of telling us when a note is in tune. Try using an electronic tuner to tune all of the strings on your guitar. It's important to understand that a guitar will not stay in tune. Just because you've tuned it once doesn't mean to say it will be in tune the next day, or even the next hour. Certain factors such as temperature change, and even putting it in and out of your gig bag, will all affect the tuning of your guitar. So check the tuning of your guitar every time you practice. Good luck! The Tom Gates Music Book is a fantastic and fun way for you to learn an instrument. It has all your favourite Tom Gates songs on the ukulele, the guitar, the drums, the piano, the recorder and the vocals. You could even take a graded exam. Good luck and have fun.